So our first target at this house is a beautiful buckle. I mean, I'm glad I brought my, Jason's gonna do the honors. It's nice and ornate, that's 1800s easily. So that's probably original to the, uh, Probably the original owners, they said the house was built in. Yeah, it was built in 1909, but I believe there may have been a house here earlier. Well, this would explain it. That Look is, at all the floral pattern on that. That is awesome. There you go. Get a better picture cleaned up. So this was ringing up like a nickel. It's uh, totally encrusted in rust. Let's see if I can kind of clean it up without ruining it. Uh, that's gonna be a hard one to clean. It looks like a little buckle. Cool. So I got onto my first decent find so far today. Um, it's really crusty, but uh, I got an Indian head penny. Um, I don't know if you can, you guys should be able to see it in there. Can't exactly tell the date right now, um, but that's cool, I'll take it. So two foot away, I just dug my first end in. Now I dug a second, and of course I kissed it on the back. This one I can actually read the date on it. Um, looks like 1902, 1903. Nice, dude. So, cool. Two Indians. Hell yeah, man. Good job. Man, I'm not sure if I got that. I just did this on a live dig. So um, I just dug an Indian right there and I dug an Indian right here. And I had another one right here, which it's cruddy. You can't see it, but it is an Indian. Um, so hopefully I got that the first time around. Ian can edit it if I didn't. I got a Indian tone here right where Jason found his two. He was going north and south. I'm going east and west. So we'll see if this pans out to be anything good. The ground's getting black. There's a coin. I got an Indian. All right. So, three Indians here. Can't get a date off of that. I'm gonna double check this hole. That's it, sweet. So I'm out back here. Um, I just popped. Ooh. This little buckle in here. It was sitting down in here. Dude, that's unique. And uh, I only caught it like that. It was sitting like that in the ground. Um, I don't know if there's any. Uh, I don't know if there's any fancy on it. There's fancy on it. Let me clean it real quick. But hell, of fine, dude. Yeah, let me uh here straighten that too. Straighten it. I'll let it. you straighten it. So if you break it. <laughs> That's awesome. That's I don't think I've ever seen one like that. Oh, I could see the fancy through the dirt. I wasn't sure if that was just the weird dirt stuff or we got some looks like it says 5A5 right there. I 
there's something on that. Let's see, maybe this is the show side. Good find, dude. That is uh, crazy unique. That'll clean up good. I don't know, but good find, man. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, he, he's talking like right up there. There's something. We'll clean it up better. All right, literally right here is where I dug the one Indian, getting another tone right there. Oh, got a tree root right there. This is gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a hard dig. Yep. It was showing deep too. I might have to pause the video and come back to you on this one. If I can get underneath that tree root just a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get So I had to call Jay over to help me dig. You could see it was right in that V and then there was a root going across from it. Have it in my hand, don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure it's an Indian. Pretty sure. I think I see ya. Yeah, I found three over here, and that's your what, second? If it's an Indian, it'd be my second. Oh, that's an Indian. Yep, that is an Indian. There's the one cent. So, sweet, there was definitely something going on here. Yep, I don't know if you guys can see the headdress, but cool. Thanks, Jay. So I went back up to the place where we were finding all the Indians. I uh, changed programs. I went to park one and increased my um, recovery speed and came across this. It looks like a 1907. I make six Indians out of this place. Take it. So you can see sandstone foundation and you can also, I don't know if you can't see it, but way down in there I got me a crotal bell looking up at me. So let's see if I can get this out without scratching it, without, there it is. That's uh, missing the top, but these are one of these things that I just love finding. I can never find enough of these. That was oh uh, about eight inches down. So I already told Jay to come on over and we're gonna hit this area pretty good. Can you see it? Got another one. That's two. The other hole is right here, about a foot and a half up. Two crotal bells. Here comes Jay. We're gonna go oh, knock geez. this, knock this area out. Jay's got a. 93 on the simplex and then i got a 31 on the equinox we're at a new permission uh it's shallow yeah, it's 91 in the plug it's probably just a clad quarter but we've had shallow silvers before dude the hell? That looks awfully thick. That looks awfully thick, dude. Is that a oh, flying dude. eagle? It's a coin. 
it might be. Uh, I see a wreath and a one cent. Well, that's definitely either. That's fat. It's either a fatty Indian or. Man, that hit awful high. I think I see. Try to scratch I, it with a nail. I don't know, man. I don't know what. That might be a flying eagle. I'm trying to scratch it with my nail. We're gonna. I'm gonna go to mine. So Jay and I are working this front yard, and I just dug my fourth Indian head penny of the day. First one at this property. Uh, can't get a date off of it. But, uh, man, they're flowing today. Alright, so I just popped myself a button. Shank broke off. Hopefully it'll have like a maker's hallmark or something on the back of that so I can date it. Don't look like there's anything on the front. No design or anything. Um, this permission we're at is 1840. And from what we've gathered, it's been in the family this entire time. It has never been detected, but so far the finds have been few and far between. We just got to find that hot spot. So there you go, a little flat button. Some over here in the side yard of our new permission here. And uh, man, these wires out front, oh, they're killing us. But, uh, and I've been digging a lot of deep rust. So I had a 95 signal, don't know why it was so high. But, um, I had an SLQ down here. I don't know if maybe there was more than one or whatever. Pretty slicked out like normal. There was some rust in there with it. No date. But better shape than most of them. So, pretty cool. I'll uh, toss that up there. Let me see if there's any. I don't know if that's just rust. I'll get back with you if it's not. So while Jay's over here filming stuff you guys want to see, I'm digging stuff you don't want to see. <laughs> this is a old buckle. It's got some rust in the middle of there. Hopefully it cleans up pretty good. Well here, let them see something they don't want to see. I got another silver. Harmonica reed. Alright. Cool deal, man. Old stuff. Yep. I knew I should have live dug this one. I haven't really revealed it yet, but I do see it's silver. We can just get it out of here. Yeah, it's a merc. The mercury. 1941. Man, that's in great shape. Cool. In the backyard, I popped a, another Indian. This is Ian and I's best Indian day ever. Um, I think this is number eight between the two of us. Um, this one I can see a 9.5 on it, so it's going to be 18.95. Um, pretty cool. 